Yeah, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna answer Daniel's question of what mic to get for the Canon SL3. Lovely camera here. Let's get into the video. Oh, yeah. Woo, another viewer's question. I'm getting excited for this. I like these questions because they give me some video ideas. And Daniel has asked, thank you for the video. This is regarding the SL3 using as a webcam video. Do you recommend an external mic for this camera? Why yes, yes I do. Can SL3 and you definitely want some kind of external mic for <laughs> the camera. And uh, what equipment do I need? Oh well, you need the camera and you need a mic. This is not sponsored by Rode or Sennheiser, but these are the mics that you generally see vloggers or videographers use. And I have a special friend that I want to get on this video to give a second opinion. But actually, what camera am I shooting this video with? What mic am I shooting this video with? This video is shot with the Rode Video Micro. This, as you can see, I'm like moving the mic around and you probably can hear it because these microphones that I'm showing are directional microphones. So as you turn the microphone, it should sound different. This is a shotgun mic and it'll pick up anything in front of the mic. If you turn it around, you should lose some colorization, some pickup pattern, but it'll sound a little different, but it'll pick up exactly what it's pointed at. And this works great for voice. And I'm gonna put this microphone down, Rode Video Mic Micro. All the links in the description, I'll leave you for all the products are shown in this video. They are affiliate links, which will help this channel out. So if you can use those links, perfect. Let's get into the, let, let me bring Steve into the video. Oh yeah. This is my boy, Steve over here. Uh, he's a viewer of my channel, a good friend now. And uh, what's up, what's up? Hello oh, everybody. Yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Oh yeah. So I want to bring Steve. I'm not sure where he's gonna be in the actual recording. We're doing this on Zoom, but I wanted to bring him on this video because you know I wanted a second ear per se of an experience of mics, like I've demonstrated uh in the clip before this. Video micro, uh vi road video mic pro plus, the regular video mic pro. And uh, my most favorite one is the Sennheiser one. But I mean, my ears are different than many. And uh, well, for a beginner, they asked, did they have a Canon SL3, which is okay. a very good camera, to be honest. It's a, oh, I love it. But what mic do you recommend when starting out with a Canon SL3 or, you know, any mirrorless camera? And, you know, it's for voice, vlogging. What do you want to say, you, Steve? Hmm. Well, I don't have as many cameras that, as you own, but, um, I mean, there's multiple ways that I would vlog. Obviously, standing up, you would have um, the roads, and then sitting down, I would use my um, Blue Yeti. Um, I would not suggest this as a beginner because it's it's a good sounding microphone but as you know you have to mess with the settings a little bit like the eq and compression and if you don't know what you're doing you're not going to be able to do it you know and we would probably be using iMovie and you can't fix it in there really either so i wouldn't suggest a blue yeti i guess starting but i have two mics that you do have i have the video micro as well this was the first oh, yeah. um microphone that i ever bought and then, as you know, like a month ago, I got the video mic pro. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, yes, out of these two for a beginner, it depends on how much money they have. If they don't have a lot, the micro is good. I really do. I don't plan to not use the micro anymore. It, it's a different sound. It, 
a different sounding mic than the mic pro it sounds a little more bassy to me which is fine like it's good it's light so if you're vlogging outside obviously you don't want to probably take this one out but the good thing about this one if you have the money to spend on it and um you're vlogging inside the is that the, the low pass filter right mm -hmm. that works when there's you know, I don't have an expensive setup, so you could hear the cars and the windows shake, but the low pass filter on here pretty much gets that out. And you don't have to worry about like um, manually connecting any uh, plugins like EQ or anything. So I think one of those would probably be best. And I guess I would probably say the video micro because I'm guessing if you're beginning, uh, maybe you don't have like 200 or 300 bucks to spend on a, a microphone, but they're both good. Oh yeah, for sure. The the video, the Rode Video Micro, which is this mic right here, is what a lot of people start off with, and it's a uh, a very directional mic. Still, um, it picks up everything in front of the mic, so you got you got to point it towards you. It's a little wider pickup pattern than say the Rode Video Mic Pro, but uh, to start off with, for sixty dollars uh, American, if you are in the United States, uh, this is a very a solid solid choice um in the video that's going to be after this clip it's uh i talk about some of the, the cheaper chinese mics which i did have a few videos on there and i'm happy with them too they're just like a, a very cheap road video mic pro but yeah that's that's that so steve where can mm -hmm. um these people find you um youtube is <laughs> youtube.com slash steve santiani s-t-e-v-e-s-a-n-t-o-i-a -E -E and then i but yeah ben will put it below and then instagram and twitter are both at strange 177a oh yeah definitely check out steve's content too he has some uh different content than i do he has much more variety and very <laughs> very content creator focused yeah i try to make i try to do what ben does but for us, people with, we don't have Ben's experience. So if Ben is teaching people who are more mid-level to experts doing things, I try to learn from him and then teach it to like people like me as fast as possible, pretty much. Oh, yeah. We need that button. I'm going to get back oh, to my yeah. video. Thank you, Steve. Woo! Ha-ha! <laughs> that, that was kind of a lot. But... A quick recap. To start off with, I would highly suggest the Rode Video Micro. Very cheap mic and very functional mic for the cost. This is actually my most favorite mic as of right now. It is the Sennheiser MKE 440. It runs around like $400 and I like this mic over the Rode mics, especially the Rode Video Mic Pro, because the Sennheiser is, it's very brighter. It sounds brighter and it, it sounds better for my voice. The Video Mic Pro Plus and the Video Mic Pro, it's a little darker, so you know, it sounds a little more darker. So, I mean, it sounds great. A lot of videographers love these mics and there's nothing wrong with them. The most technically advanced mic though is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus. Look at, see if it, if it focuses on it. There you go. It has all kind of features. It auto turn on everything. This thing, but Sennheiser mic is definitely my most favorite one. But for running gun and anything, so the other three mics they are passive mics. And then, I mean, my bad. They are active mics, so they have a battery in them. You gotta make sure they're turned on, but. This Rode Video Mic Micro is passive. You plug it in and go. You don't have to worry about powering it up or anything. Just as long as the camera can power it up, it will work. Oh yeah. But that is the quick video for this uh, what mic should you get? And if you have any questions, leave them down in the, in the comments. What, are, what you wanna see next, let me know. And until next time, Say hi. Yeah, wait, well, you got it. <laughs> I'm now rambling. Woo! Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching. So I've had the pleasure to shoot Sony if you follow me on this channel. 
And I've decided to bring out the Canon G7X Mark III recently, and oh yeah, okay, well, I was shooting 4K video with this camera for like 5-10 minutes, and it pretty much tells you to f*** off after like 5-10 minutes shooting 4K. I could, I could bring it back down to 1080p, but 